The Apple Watch Series 3 released in 2017. Let that sink in. Introducing Apple Watch Series 3, and it has cellular built in. This is the only Apple Watch I've ever owned, and I still use it all day, every single day, even in 2024. But with the recent announcements of the not-so-new Ultra 2 and the Series 10, I'm actually starting to consider upgrading. So let me give you my super ultra mega long-term review of the Apple Watch Series 3. Then at the end, I'll decide whether or not I'm gonna finally upgrade the old timepiece. Okay, so how is this thing held up over time in terms of build quality? Honestly, the watch still looks pretty good after all these years. It probably helps that I went with the black color, which hides scratches a bit better. The screen does have some notable scuffs, but nothing that affects the functionality. The crown, although pretty beat up, still works as it should. The button feels perfect. Scrolling is still responsive. No problems there. The main action button is perfect as well. It's pretty impressive for an older device that has literally been used every single day since 2020 for workouts, daily tasks, swimming, hiking, and a bunch of other stuff. Let's start with the good stuff. What do I like about the Series 3? Well, first off, I have to give some credit to the fitness capabilities. During lockdowns, I knew I was either gonna get mad chunky or go full shred mode. I decided to get this watch as a reason to motivate my fitness and it really did work for me. I fell in love with tracking every workout from HIIT training to runs, lifting, and even just my daily prayer walks. My spirit animal is my German Shepherd Indy, and just like her, I'm obsessed with completing tasks. The watch's sit, stand, and move rings have successfully helped me be more active over the last few years, although the system definitely has some flaws that we'll get into. And the excitement does wear off after a little bit of time. At first, I was obsessed with just completing these rings every single day, even if that meant going on a long walk at 10 p.m. Nowadays, it's more just a reminder for me to stay active, so, I don't know. They're cool, but they're not like the craziest thing in the world. They're not gonna fully change your life. Another plus for me is the long-term tracking of fitness and sleep habits with the health app. It's interesting to look back and see how my sleep has fluctuated during different periods of my life so that I can tailor my schedule to have healthier habits. But also I became a parent five months ago. So right now I'm at the mercy of Lil Levi. It's funny because you can see a significant dip in sleep when he was born in April, but it's worth it. Also, I really like that the watch can help keep me off my phone. I say can because it's all about how you set it up with notifications. If you have notifications turned on for everything on your iPhone, first of all, go to therapy. Secondly, your watch is gonna be super annoying. <laughs> In my last video, I told you guys that I pretty much only keep notifications on for text messages and calls to protect my peace. So my watch shows those notifications before I see them on my phone. And I kind of like getting a quick glimpse on my wrist to decide if it's worth picking up my phone or not. It's especially helpful if I'm busy with deep creative work like video editing where I want no distractions. The best notification feature is the simple yet highly powerful face cover to silence calls. Trying to talk to me about my car's extended warranty? Shut up, we ain't chatting. Customizable home screens makes it super quick to see the weather, your fitness rings, and whatever other features you care about. The flashlight is solid for late night reading or finding something without waking up your partner or roommate who sleeps too close to you. And finally, the best setting on the Apple Watch is pinging your phone when you can't find it. Oh, there it is. I straight up lied to my wife and told her I was just buying her an Apple Watch to be nice and get her something cool, but I solely bought the watch for her for this purpose because she always loses her phone and she stopped wearing the watch, so please send help. All right, so now the bad stuff. What sucks about this watch? For the Series 3 specifically, the main issue, especially in 2024, is the speed of the S3 chipset. Siri can be frustratingly unresponsive or just straight up stop talking to me. Hey Siri. <laughs> hey Siri. Hey Siri. Send a text to Andrew Cruz. What do you want to say? Hey frick you brother, exclamation point. Okay, I'll send this. That was pretty good. Occasionally the UI will lag or lock up. The whole experience just feels very dated, obviously. Even just sending a simple voice text is hit or miss on these old watches. So it can be pretty annoying. Hey man, I'm so incredibly sorry for what I just said to you, comma. I actually think you're very handsome 
and that God is going to do great things with your life. Poop emoji. Dang it. Another frustration for me was the stand ring. I typically work at a sit-stand desk, and the watch rarely picks up on the fact that I stand a majority of the day. I had to reduce my daily goal to 10 hours of standing instead of 12 because of this. I'm not sure if it's better on newer watches, so we might have to try that out. Another peeve for me at first was the GPS notifications, which drove me crazy until I realized you can just turn them off in the watch app on your phone. I just think it's goofy having my phone and my watch giving me the exact same directions when they're both right in front of me. The battery is decent, it's not amazing. I typically just charge it when I'm showering or whenever I get to the dreaded 10% battery warning, which feels more and more frequent nowadays. Other than that, the Series 3 has been old faithful for me for years now. It's probably been in like so many of my thumbnails because I always have this thing on. But is it finally time to upgrade the old girl? Drum roll, please. Yes. Since Apple discontinued the Series 3 in 2022, they also stated that they would no longer roll out software or security updates for it. I get why, but it kind of makes me sad. This thing has been reliable for me for about four years, four or five years actually. This thing could have easily lasted a few more years despite its slower processor, but here we are in the world of upgrades. As for what watch I'm upgrading to, well, you'll just have to subscribe for that video coming very soon, but for now, Go watch this video about how I dumbified my iPhone and saved my sanity. Text me when you get home so I know you're safe. And watch out for deer. They're just scary, dude. Let's be real about it. All right. You're loved. Bye.